Hey, welcome to the Ranger Rob channel with Rob and Sherry. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, Ranger Rob here and welcome to Central Oregon Living, uh, solely to become a, 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 a homestead. So, if you're wondering, and I thought I'd kind of explain because you're probably seeing them all in all the videos, but uh, yes, my workstation is on the kitchen counter right now. Why is that? Because I can't set up my studio yet because we are storing a lot of stuff here that is from the estate. So when we bought the house from Sherry's mother, um, she has a lot of things that she wants, uh, um, well, that we want the other kids to be able to go through. So that's one of the reasons why we bought this place because otherwise we'd have to do a estate sale and just get rid of all of it. And uh, uh, so we're actually doing the whole family a favor by maintaining, getting the house uh, up to snuff, but maintaining the uh, inventory, you might say, here for the uh, other siblings to be able to see the stuff. And just to show you <laughs> behind me here is we're living from boxes. And uh, it's one of the things that we said we do uh, uh, with Sherry's mother was to uh, kind of coexist with this for about six months and uh, it's kind of frustrating but at the same time uh, you know it helps the whole family so you can see uh, if I go around here more boxes are behind me um, that we live out of we have several rooms we can't even use yet because uh, we're just holding on to things and uh, we're soon to uh, have family down to kind of go through things. Once once they kind of had a chance to see stuff, then we're going to have a big estate sale. This is also what's called our green room. And I know it's kind of dark. Um, once again, we're holding stuff in here so we can't really use it, but this is a green room for well, basically a, a green house. And uh, this was in the spring, this is where we'll do all of our tomatoes and our starter plants. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting this room, uh, all this stuff out of here uh, by next spring and turn this into our garden room. So uh, yeah, it's pretty frustrating. Here's a better look of all the stuff. And I know it's kind of dark, sorry, of how we're living. Uh, even in our master bedroom, we have boxes that are, uh, we can't move into the garages because the garages are full. So it's really frustrating. So let me show you some more. So it's a real breezy, real breezy day here today. But just to give you an idea why we can't move anything out is we're stirring more stuff just in this garage. This garage was empty. We used to be able to put a car in it. Once again, we're stirring stuff for the family to go through. And in a, in a few months, what's not uh, going out the door is uh, going to a state sale. In the meantime, we got this beautiful giant shop that we bought and we can't use it. <laughs> Why? Well, we kind of use it. We've opened up some spots here. We actually got one part of this that we can actually use. We're slowly moving some of our tools in here, but uh, we have to kind of leave this available for a family to see too. But you can see more boxes. <laughs> our stuff and it goes we have three uh units here the two on this side are to totally full of just stuff uh so uh you can see the frustration we're going through but at the same time we're doing a good thing for the family some of them don't think we are but we are <laughs> and uh we've always have so uh and then there's a lot of clean a lot of stuff is garbage too so uh you know it's like uh, up above here is stuff that's old family stuff that a lot of it will probably be taken to the garbage dump or sold in a garage sale or estate sale. But once again, we want to give everybody a chance to go through it. So we don't have much more of that to do, time to go by with that. But uh, uh, I thought I'd explain that a little bit. So it is what it is. We, uh, when you, uh, or helping to be a caregiver, uh, 
there's a lot of things that are very complicated like today Sherry's not here because today uh, she's taking her mother to a, um, a medical evaluation thing and then taking her to lunch uh, the COVID things kind of uh, makes it kind of tactical you have to be careful what how she does that but uh yeah I mean so every day we're taking care of things for our mother-in-law and her mother and uh, you know it just makes life a little more complicated and but at the fact that we bought this house and came up here was to help her get her back in the area that she's familiar with that she has a few friends and to take care of her estate um, to make sure that some of the other siblings can see this stuff so uh, that explains all this stuff and uh, <laughs> like I was showing you in the last video you may have seen poopy bags all in storage here but all this other stuff is our storage and there's another spot over here with more stuff that doesn't even count you probably saw in the back barn all that stuff and once again some a lot of its garbage is going to be thrown out but once again we're trying to give the family a chance to see all this stuff and uh, uh, a lot of it we bought ahead of time with the house but uh, at the same time there's a lot of stuff that needs to be gone through so well, there you go that's my story and I'm sticking to it okay I'm I'm fighting the wind again sorry another thing I thought I'd show to you that when we bought this house uh, this house is about was built in 1994 and uh, they're really in the gardening however uh, between the water systems and the and planting and stuff you can see we have a lot of uh, growth and things like that too close to the house which did damage it and so some of the water systems we have here um, basically we have to replace the siding on this house also we are um, the roof needs to be replaced and we're replacing that too and uh, the last five years uh, you know Sherry's folks were um, uh, her father was uh, having a hard time keeping up and so a lot of things went to the way, wayside and so that's kind of our mission to kind of make it better we're gonna make it more simpler here because we're gonna get up in age someday too <laughs> or some people say you already are uh, but you can see like this was a beautiful garden at one time now it's all grown over once again sorry about the wind uh, and it'll take us years before we can get this area back to uh, uh, well we don't want it as far as they took it <laughs> we want it to be more simple but uh, you know we had all kinds of sorry about the wind again darn it um, darn wind uh, this whole area here all overgrown we're slowly killing it out here a little bit cleaning it up we got a this used to be a beautiful garden you can see all this it's all grown over and uh, uh, once again this backyard this road had a whole bunch of weeds and stuff you could hardly recognize it we fixed that and we're slowly cleaning out that back area uh, the garden area but we're getting there and this is where Sherry's been working and clearing this out and you can see you can start starting to look nice again but that's just one spot and uh, just give you an idea of how much time has gone by since a lot of this stuff was kept up but here's that garden area again Sherry really cleaned it up nicely um, this back area uh, these park benches literally rotted and fell apart that's the metal that fell apart that's not the wood anyway but you can see we got a lot more cleaning of uh, beds here uh, water systems to repair we got leaks everywhere uh, all this will be cleaned out I have a big water leak back here I got to redo and uh, we'll clean that all up and we're slowly been working on the gardens over here ah, windy day and uh, we're making the best of it and uh, you can kind of see what success looks like as we go over here and you'll see that we got uh, a lot of beds cleaned up still a lot of overgrowth we got this cleaned up we put some of my own couple of veg veggies in there 
all the siding, all these tree, trees need to be taken away from the outside of the house. And uh, we're trying to get the pond fixed. So much to do, along with our own projects. So uh, I thought I'd kind of share that with you. It's, it's kind of kind kind of gives you an idea how much we work we have to do here. Um, but at the same time, it's a beautiful place. But uh, we'll be putting thousands of dollars into this place, as expected, and uh, at the same time, uh, holding on to things for the family until they decide what they want so we can clear it out so we can actually fit our own stuff so we can't even live in our own house right now uh hundred percent but we knew that going in so there you go guys i hope you see it's getting prettier it'll take us we have a long long story to share with you and a lot of things that we're doing to this house to make it more of a homestead and more self-reliant so Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and share our videos and become part of our family. Leave your notes below. Tell us about your stories with caregiving. Uh, also, uh, what you're doing to be more self-reliant. Are you thinking about getting out of the city? Um, uh, love to hear your stories. And, uh, hope, and maybe we'll just interview you, do a Zoom uh, interview or something and we'll talk. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.